friends and welcome back to my channel I'm back again on track and today I am reacting and analyzing Diana Ankundinova now unfortunately three years ago I reacted already to some of her videos but copyright strike was there again hitting at me and so I had to take all of those videos down but I want to try it today don't forget thumbs up leave a subscribe and I'm also on Instagram okay let's go Now, what we are having here, you probably already know from other videos, we have a low soft palette and we have a tongue that is really, really much in the back of the mouth and both of them are touching. And usually when you do So you try to go from that nasal sound into a really clear A sound, A sound. That's what we have here with Wiseman. What I found is interesting, was she always singing like this by heart or that she had a teacher that told her how to do and recreate that sound. So we have here tongue and soft palate are touching each other and that makes that knurdlish sound. And now it's really clear, you hear? Mm, beautiful hat voice. That's a really, really nice and individual version of Diana Ankudinova singing that can't help falling in love. Now, that is what you, that is creative and that's what you want to go for. Be individual, be creative and create your own sound and this is what she's doing. And she has that mythical, ethereal kind of outer space sound with that low larynx voice. And then she's going up really high Beautiful hat boys, clear vowels. Shisha. Shisha, was hat die Graf Christian? Bist du ruhig jetzt? Oder muss ich zu Papa schicken? Oh wow. Beautiful airy head boys. Yeah, man, this is really kind of like you're getting there this this and it's the end of the day's vibe. If you if you haven't watched Get a Don't Look Up on Netflix, please go and watch that movie, right? And it's about the end of the world. And I think that would be the perfect soundtrack for that movie, really, originally. So perfect. Perfect fit. Yeah, very low, low, low soft palette. Mm. 
Oh, that was a beautiful jump here. Yeah, very, very nice. Beautiful jump in that last uh, U. Yeah. So, um, and a really unusual kind of way of, to execute that song. Um, I think her sound is not for everyone, right? Because when I first time heard her song, uh, her, when I first time heard her singing, I thought it was really masculine and I thought it was really auto-generated sounding, like a computer voice kind of. And she was much more younger than I think she was like 13, 14, 15. It was at that The Voice Kids. I think that video is still up here or probably they took it down. But um, I remember her singing that and I was like, this is so unusual. How she managed to work with that soft palate, work with the tongue, have that low uh, larynx, make that larynx uh, gently go up. So it's, it's, it's all of those sounds. Let me try to kind of recreate it a bit, yeah? Why? 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 Only fools run. That's a really bad imitation of that song. But you have that soft, um, you have that soft palette. If you think about man skin, the winner of Eurovision, they use a lot of soft palette drop down. If you want to try to find out where the soft palette is, you just go and make a boom, like in that word bonjour, boom, and there you go, that soft palette is down, and you can try to lift it up, like, by, by go on an A, yeah, boom, uh, uh. try to create contact between your tongue and your soft palette, boom, uh, and then go to really straight and clean uh. So that's the idea and what you want to do in singing is of course mostly use a high soft palette, a very lifted soft palette but it depends on the genre and depends on if you are using nasal resonance and you want to use nasal resonance then it should be a little bit drop down. My friends, don't forget a beautiful thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what would you like to see next. And I hope that video is not getting demonetized or, you know, copyright strike whatsoever. And I see you in my next video. Bye bye.